Did Noah Cyrus really date her mom's husband before they got married? Plus, a reality TV star is pregnant, and Taylor Swift may have poetry in her blood. Hi, welcome back to A Quick Look, a pop culture show where I'll be taking you through the biggest headlines, entertainment, and current events. I'm Zoe Jewell. Let's get right into the show. Okay. First thing is first, we have to talk about the Cyrus family drama because you guys, this is something straight out of a made up TV show, 90s teen drama. This honestly doesn't quite feel real, but I think it is real. So it came out last week that Noah Cyrus, who is the youngest daughter of Tish Cyrus and Billy Ray Cyrus, Miley Cyrus's sister, dated Tish Cyrus's current husband prior to them getting married. I know, lots of things to unpack here. So first thing is first, I think maybe throwing out the ages of these people is interesting. So Tish is currently 56. Noah is 24, and actually I was going to check the age of... So Tish's husband, his name is Dominic Purcell. He's an actor. He was in the show Prison Break. That's probably his best known role. He is 54, okay? So he's 30 years older than Noah. Just putting that out there just so we all had the facts, okay? So as I mentioned, it had come out that Noah and Dominic were seeing each other prior to then Noah, or prior to Tish and Dominic getting together and getting married. Now, this is surprising and shocking, but it's not so surprising and shocking because if you've been following the Cyrus family for a little while, you will know that there has been a bit of a rift in the family. There is Team Tish and there is Team Billy Ray, or so it seems. And Noah has very clearly taken the side of her father. Tish and Billy Ray got divorced, I think, in like 2022. They've been on and off for a number of years, and I think each of them filed for divorce over the course of the years, like a, a couple times, and then would dismiss it and get back together. And so they've had a rocky relationship over the course of their marriage, but they officially divorced, I think, yeah, 2022. And it seemed like there was this divide. Noah went with her dad. Miley seemed to kind of be with her mom because she did attend her mom's wedding to Dominic. Um, but then it's also come out that Noah or that Miley hasn't picked sides and she still sees her dad. She still loves her dad, but she also wanted to support her mom. And then Brandy Cyrus, the oldest sister, is Team Tish, okay? So there was already this divide and people just kind of assumed, I think, that this divide was just because the parents got divorced. And if you know anyone who's gotten divorced, if you're a child of divorce, you know that sometimes it's natural for kids to choose one parent over the other. Little did we know that it had to do with all of this drama. So according to People Magazine, this is what they said regarding the Noah and Dominic relationship, if we can even call it that. This is what they said. Quote, Noah and Dominic were seeing each other in a friends with benefits way, on and off. They stopped seeing each other and then Tish started something up. Tish knew he had been seeing Noah. They also continued to say, Tish never gave Noah the chance to talk about all of this before they got married. Yikes. Now Tish and Dominic got married in April, 2023, so almost a year ago. This is very, I mean, first of all, I can't even imagine my mother <laughs> marrying somebody that I've spent time with and I mean, dated or whatever, yikes. But the fact that Tish knew about it and didn't even talk to Noah, allegedly, reportedly, um, that's also another yikes. Now, it has also come out that Miley had no idea about this situation. She did not know uh, all this drama surrounding Noah, Tish, and Dominic, which is a little bit hard to believe, seeing that Tish is her mother and Noah is her sister. Like, it seems like something she would know, but this is what a source told people about Miley Cyrus's part in all of this. 
Quote, Miley had no idea about the drama with Dominic. No idea at all. Um, and then they went on to say that um, she confronted her mom about it. She thinks it's a strange situation, but she loves her mom and wants her to be happy. Again, like, yikes. Just, I, I don't know. This, I feel like I wish, this is a time in which, in which I wish the Cyrus family had a reality TV show. Like, this is something that the Kardashians could only dream of having in their family, right? I don't think it's ever going to happen, but imagine if the, if cameras were rolling while this was unfolding. I don't necessarily, I feel bad that this drama is unfolding in the public eye, but this is made for reality TV, this kind of drama. Very curious to see how this transpires. Very curious to see if this affects Tish and Dominic's marriage, what does this mean for Miley and her mom and Noah and the family and a lot of drama. Very curious to know what you guys think, how you feel about the situation because I, in this scenario, I'm sort of, I'm team Noah. Like I can understand the frustration um, and just kind of the, it's just kind of weird. It's just weird all around. Okay, moving on to some happier news. Lala Kent, Vanderpump Rules star, is pregnant with her second child. Lala Kent, if you're a reality TV fan, a Vanderpump Rules fan, I mean, she's an icon. And she is having her second baby as a single mother. So if you've been following Vanderpump Rules, if you know anything about the show or Lala specifically, you know that she was in a long relationship with her ex, Randall Emmett. They had a daughter together, Ocean, who's about to turn three years old. Then they had a very messy breakup. Randall has essentially been canceled. Um, but Lala has been very open since having Ocean and since her breakup of wanting to still expand her family and have a child on her own, um, despite the fact that she is single. So she posted on Instagram saying, I'm expanding my pod with a little photo of her stomach and her daughter looking at her belly. Very sweet. Um, and yeah, as I mentioned, Lala has been open about her fertility journey and wanting to have a child. And she even revealed late last year that she was um, starting the process of doing IUI by using a sperm donor. So she's, she's been very open about this journey, about what the steps she's taking to have another child. And honestly, I'm really happy for Lala. I personally love Lala. I know it's a controversial opinion. Some people love her, some people hate her, but I've always really liked her. And I think it's also really cool and inspiring to see a woman choose to go down this path despite not having a partner. Um, and I think it's it's a great example to set for maybe other women out there who don't have a partner but want to have kids to show that, hey, you can do it too. Now, I know Lala is rich and wealthy and has help and support around her, which definitely makes having a child on your own easier, but it's still, it's still great to see. Okay, our final story of the day. Something that honestly kind of shocked me, though maybe it shouldn't have shocked me and maybe I'm reading too much into it, honestly, but is Taylor Swift related to Emily Dickinson? It turns out she is. So I've always believed, and anyone who is a Taylor Swift fan, you know, believes she's a poet. She really has a way with words. That is her skill set. That is the, she's not the best singer, dancer, performer, right? I think we can acknowledge that. But her, her strongest skill is her writing ability, her ability to just turn, I don't know, just poetry into the best music ever. But it seems like that might run in the family because Taylor and Emily Dickinson are six cousins, sixth cousins, three times removed. I know that's kind of a lot. And that's, you know, many generations down the line, but they're related nonetheless. So this is what Ancestry um, had to say about the Taylor and Emily Dickinson family connection. Swift and Dickinson both, dis both descended from a 17th century English immigrant, Swift's ninth great-grandfather and Dickinson's sixth great-grandfather, who was an early settler of Windsor, Connecticut. Taylor Swift's ancestors remained in, Con in Connecticut for six generations until her part of the family eventually settled in Northwestern Pennsylvania, where they married into the Swift family line. So there you have it. They're both descendants of Connecticut. I mean, let's be honest. I think probably a majority of us are connected and cousins in some way, shape, or form. But it, it, it is still pretty cool. And I bet Taylor Swift, 
I don't know if she knew this, but I bet if she's now seeing this, I'm reading this new, she's probably like, that's pretty cool. That's, that's pretty fun that I'm related to somebody who is known for being one of, if not the best poets of all time, honestly. All right, guys, that is today's show. A lot to unpack today. I would love to know, to know all your thoughts, especially about the Cyrus family drama, just what you think is transpiring there. Anything else that you're thinking of, thoughts, feelings, concerns, put them in the comments. As always, make sure to subscribe to our channel, follow us on social media, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.